starting in just a few minutes, so make your way to the stage. For our elected officials who would like to address the crowd, please make your way to the stage for a few minutes. And then after that, join us for our voices in the line. Hey, he's trying to give you that green Hi, Jan. Hello. 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 community of Bolingbrook. My name is Mir Ali. It's a pleasure to host this event today in your presence. And for those of you that are so busy eating, enjoying ice cream and whatnot, please make your way to the stage and give some support to our elected officials. With that being said, I'd like to introduce a gentleman to the stage who is no stranger to this community and to the Pakistani community of Chicago. He is truly the backbone of the Pakistani community. He was here first. And because of him, we've been raising the Pakistani flag here in Bolingbrook for 22 years. It's my pleasure to introduce to you the President of the Association of Pakistani Americans, a Planning Commissioner for the Village of Bolingbrook, and he wears many, many other hats, the one and only Tahat Rashid. Assalamu alaikum. On the behalf of Association of Pakistani Americans in Bolingbrook, I welcome you, all of you to here on our 66th Independence Day celebration. We're doing this for the past 25 years, and we're very proud to say that this is the only city in the United States that is doing for so long, and we are very thankful to Mayor Roger Clare. Unfortunately, he's not here, he's traveling, he's in Florida. But he has always supported us with his vision, and that is the reason we are here today, and we are doing this every year without a break. Today we have a lot of our guests. Uh, they will come and uh, you know, address you for the short period of time. But one thing I would like to say, this will be the, the last, I would say, speech of our Council General 
in here. Unfortunately, he is going back to Islamabad for his new assignments. And he has been here for so many times. He's the wonderful consul general we ever had. He was not a consul general, not a group of men, but he was a very, very good friend of ours. He tried to please everyone. I know it's hard to please you know, everyone, but he did his best. And we welcome, again, uh, his presence in here for so many years, and we will miss him. We also have uh, Mrs. Zahid Zaman. He's our new commercial consul. He's here the first time, and he will say a few words as well. With this, I would like to uh, invite uh, our, our Vice Mayor, Mr. Leroy Brown, please come in here and address the crowd, and he will also give the proclamation. Thank you. Thank you. And welcome to Bolingbroke, all of you that are not from Bolingbroke. We thank you and welcome you for coming here today, because by you being here makes a great statement as to the diversity that we have here in Bolingbroke. So we thank you for being here, and we know you're going to have a great time. You got some very important people here that I would like to introduce because they've taken time out of their busy schedules to come here because they know just how important it is to be here to recognize you and address you as a community that is so strong to Bolingbroke and has done so much for Bolingbroke. We thank them and welcome you here being here today. So I'll start with what we call the, the powerhouses of our elected officials. And the first one would be Senator Pat McGuire. We also have a powerhouse here today, and that would be State Representative Emily McCasey of the 85th District. We want to thank both of you for being here today because we know you could be somewhere making uh, different, you know, whatever you call that when you go to Springfield, laws, you know, and we thank you for what you're doing and being here. Mayor Claire would have definitely, you know, appreciated you being here because it is definitely great being here. We also have some elected officials here today. We have Mike Lawler, one of our village trustees. We have Marie Zarate, one of our village trustees. We have Lucas Rickleman, the Director of Public Works. We have DuPage Township, Sheldon Watch, trustee. Patty Holloway, collector. Mary Pat Oliver, are you a trustee, Mary Pat? <laughs> Yes, she is. We have the Park District, Denise Allen, one of our Park District trustees. We also have our Deputy Police Chief, Tom Ross. He was here somewhere. There he is. And we have our Chamber President, Michael Carpenzano. He was here as well. These are the people, folks, that make up a village. These are the people that pass laws that keep you in the sense of protection and allow you to have the quality of life that you have in Bowling Group. We thank all of them for being here today, and we really want to thank our major elected officials, and I will let them say a few words, and we'll start with our Senator Pat McGuire. Thank you. Good evening. I'm one of 59 state senators. I'm privileged to serve down in Springfield with Senator Kirk Dillard. I consider myself one of the luckiest state senators because I represent the greater Bolingbroke area. And Bolingbroke is a community that welcomes all cultures, appreciates all cultures, celebrates all cultures. I want to compliment the American Pakistani Association for organizing today's festivities and congratulate all Pakistani Americans on the 66th anniversary of your homeland's independence. Thank you. And we'll have our 85th state representative.